Hey everyone, I'm here in Cumming, Georgia at the Zion Hill Baptist Cemetery. Today we're going to see the grave of a legend in WWF and AWA history. A guy that really paved the way for the big men in wrestling. And that's the grave of Jerry the Crusher Blackwell. So, we're going to go over here and take a look at his grave. Before I get started, this is the first video that I brought along a guest. Uh, his name is Waylon. He's my roommate. Say hey to Waylon. So he's not going to go to the grave with me. It's just right over here, right outside our car. But he's going to keep an eye on me as I go take a look at the grave. So follow me, everyone. All right, here is Jerry the Crusher Blackwell's grave. Casual fans of wrestling may not know who Jerry Blackwell is, but he was born in Stone Mountain. For a long time, he was called the Mountain from Stone Mountain. He weighed over 400 pounds, but what set him apart from a lot of other big wrestlers was that he was very agile, and the moves that he was performing was really strange for a guy his size to be doing. Um, Jerry had some crazy matches with some of the biggest WWE legends um, and just legends of the sport of wrestling. Kerry, Von Erich, um, I don't believe he wrestled Kevin Von Erich, but he was wrestling with the Von Erichs. He wrestled Andre the Giant, he wrestled Kamala, Hulk Hogan, uh, being one of his bigger matches, and Jesse the Body Ventura. He saw a lot of his uh, success with AWA. He was with WWF for a while, um, but he was mainly wrestling a lot of undercard matches. Um, he had a feud, him and his tag team partner, Ken Patera, had uh, a feud with the Road Warriors, uh, Hawk and Animal, for some time as well. Hawk and Animal were very difficult to work with and would not sell their opponents very well, but when they wrestled Kim Patera and Jerry Blackwell, they were a little bit more stout than their uh, Hawk and Animal's other opponents, and they taught them a lesson that selling your opponents goes both ways. So in those matches, Kim Patera and Jerry Blackwell would not sell for them and they had to learn this the hard way and Hawk and Animal essentially didn't look so great in their matches against them. He suffered a, a injuries from a car accident in 1994. Um, those injuries that he suffered along with uh, complications from his health did uh, eventually lead to uh, further complications and his death. He was born in 1949 uh, on April 26th and died January 22nd, 1995. And like I said, we're here at the Zion Hill Baptist Church in Cumming, Georgia. And we're right next to the county line, right where Dawsonville sits. But we're going to walk around and take a look at his grave. Right here, he does have a foot marker. It says Jerry Jack and then the date of his birth and death professional wrestler. Right here we have some more information on Jerry. It says Blackwell. And then some mementos where family members or others have visited his gravesite, possibly even fans. Like I said, he was a legend in AWA wrestling. Casual wrestling fans may not know who he is, but he really paved the way for guys like Vader and Bam Bam Bigelow. Uh, to be able to do what they did and walk on the other side snow naming on the back side of his grave but his burial does seem like it is kept up fairly well I'm not sure why he's buried here in Forsyth County, Georgia, being from Stone Mountain, this is possibly where he spent the rest of his days, uh, Forsyth County being just an hour from Atlanta. 
And at the time that he lived here, Forsyth County was not as overpopulated as it is now. It was a very rural area, lots of uh, fields, woods, farmland. We're just near the Dawson Forest too. Um, just a lot of uh, uh, undeveloped land in this area. And that's the grave of Jerry the Crusher Blackwell. If you had the opportunity to watch Jerry Blackwell perform in his early wrestling days, leave a comment in the comment section, tell me about it. Uh, I was not actually uh, alive whenever he uh, was wrestling. He passed away the year I was born. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. If there's any other place you want to see me visit, leave a comment in the comment section. But for now, thanks for watching everyone.